in the next 10 minutes I'm not going to do, talk about the Commonwealth or my house or my palace. But I do want to wish you a happy Christmas uh, and a very happy new year, whatever you're doing. Anything can happen to anyone at any time, as I well know from having woken up from a coma for six weeks in 2007. And uh, I strongly believe that um, people do get good news and bad news. I want to say a quick word about dementia policy in England. Um, is very promising at the moment. I think we've reached a point really where we're in danger of throwing the baby out with the bathwater. By this way, I mean that we need to value the views of people with dementia and their significant others, uh, otherwise known in some places as carers. Very important to form policy around them, form research around them, work with them, not for them or to them. And if we get that right, I think the rest will follow. I think there's no great mystery about integrated care. Integrated care has been stumbling across various governments now for a while. There have been a lot of pilots, test beds and vanguards, a um, lot of foreplay, not very much action in some places. The issue about integrated care is much proceduralised by people, Christmas mapped. There's no great uh, big rocket science to it, apart from seeing people in the right place at the right time, in the right way. And I think if we have that firmly at the front of our minds, the rest will follow. It upsets me that some of the procedures have been mishandled, like electronic patient records, care coordinators, data sharing, data confidentiality, information sharing, etc. But uh, people in paid jobs should have been doing this better. What can I say? We're danger of throwing out baby with the bathwater. I really feel this with patient involvement in general and I can't recommend strongly enough Alison Cameron's um, article in, not her article, but about her in Healthcare Manager, I think. The issue there is that uh, squabbling over what you call a patient leader or of the fact that they may be misinterpreted by some as to be data harvesters or patient representatives, but we do have something valuable there. And it takes all of us to cherish what is valuable. If the policy works out badly, the data harvesting and the promotion of research turns into a bliss for pharmaceutical companies and insurance companies to do their work based on risk. However, if you play our cards if we play our cards right, we can use knowledge of risk to better promote health, prevent illness and disease, and that of course is a good thing. But I don't want to see the natural hazards turn into a hybrid insurance system where people with a high risk of dementia, say due to their genome genetics, get penalised by the market. And it can well happen. In the US, we have, they have the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act. It can happen. I don't want it to happen. But on the other hand, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. The first book I did was on the nice quality standard 30, supporting people feeling well with dementia. As you know, I took on board Chris's criticism, comment, critique. The living world should be living better with dementia. Kate's welfare has gone beyond that, call, call it living beyond a diagnosis with dementia. So follow her work.
Second book was Living Better with Dementia, and the third book will be the one on integrated care, care homes, care at home. So that's going to put me out of action for a few months. So we'll try to tweet less and work more. But in the meantime, have a happy Christmas.